What is up? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to build a Namidian tiny house. For the build, you'll need the following DLCs. People of the Dragon, Writers of Hyboria, Blood and Sand, and the Isle of Sipta. The piece count for this build is approximately 295 pieces. If you're new to the channel, be sure to stick around to the end while we'll be showcasing the final version of the build. The location I've chosen for the showcase is an M7 on the Isle of Sipta. So with that said, let's get to it. Alright, so first up, I'm going to be laying down my foundations to the build. I'm going to start off by using sandstone foundations just due to how, uh, how cheap they are. So we're going to plot this out. I'll do an overview here shortly once I actually get the actual foundations placed. Well, let's see. Yep, that's going to go here. go so now that all of that stuff's placed we're gonna go around the outside and we're actually gonna place some stable fence foundations we're gonna go all the way around help if I could uh, place in the right spot. Alright, when we get to this part, instead of placing the foundations here, we're actually going to run them straight through here because we're actually going to raise the fence foundations up by three notches here. Uh, to do that, we're going to place sandstone fence. We're going to take the wedge piece and see how it snaps here? If you just look up a little bit, it jumps up two foundations. So we're going to delete this fence piece. We're going to place it on the new foundation. We're going to delete this foundation now. And we're going to raise this up too. So at this point, we've raised it up four notches. We're now going to take our, uh, our stable fence foundation and we're going to snap it, but we're going to lower it one. So that should make it snap at three. Now we can delete all of those. We're now going to snap another foundation to the fence foundation we just placed. We're just going to build it up just like that. And this will allow us to actually snap more of our uh, fence foundations to that. Once those are all placed, we can actually go back through and delete all of these uh, sandstone foundations. And this is the, like I said, this is kind of the reason why I started off with the sandstone anyway. I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. You know, now that, you know, when you delete an actual piece, you get a one-to-one -one ratio of resources back. But uh, that, that's just normally uh, what I do. Um, from here, we're going to want to place some pillars on this point and this point. So what we're going to have to do, we're actually going to have to delete these four. We're going to place some stairs. We're going to connect them to this piece. We're going to put a pillar on top of the middle section of the... Uh, of the stairs and then we're just going to take a ceiling piece we're going to build it out to here because when we snap our stair piece here we then take the arena pillar build that straight down we're going to attach the underneath uh, center of this stair piece this should be right where we need it to be which it is so that that's that'll work so from here we can take our stable uh, or technically you can take any um, ceiling piece and you're going to extend it out three pieces because then you can just connect uh, more pillars to that. And then from here, just connect our fence piece back just like that. Um, and then actually I think for the inside we're going to place some more fence foundations. We're just going to form just a two by two box on the inside. All right, from here, we're going to add a front porch. We're going to do this by placing a Namidian intersection piece uh, at the front. This is where our front door is going to be. We're going to jump around to the back of the build. Uh, for this corner, we're going to place another intersection piece. Uh, we're going to be attaching Namidian stair pieces to both of the pieces we just placed, just like that. Uh, from here, we're now going to jump over to the arena pieces, add in our front door. This first layer all the way around, we're actually going to be placing um, arena pieces for the most part. We're just going to jump like this. Go all the way around. Let's 
See, when we get to this part, there's another door here. There's a wall. We're actually going to skip this, uh, that part, because we're going to be placing... It wouldn't support strut here because there's actually gonna be one more addition that we're gonna add on here uh, a little bit later on. Uh, and then from here, there's two more struts. I think at this point in time, we're ready to lay the flooring down. Uh, I think with this bottom base, we're gonna stick with arena. So we're just gonna lay these arena pieces down all the way across. Because we raise this up, we kind of got like a half wall going, kind of, sort of. Uh, from here, let's jump back to the arena. We're going to do the arena vaulted ceiling inverted corner pieces. And we're just going to place these right here. We're going we're gonna to rotate them so that the, the points are kind of over here in these corners. It's just going to form like a nice archway right there. I think at this point we're ready to move on to the second floor. We're going to jump over to the, the Namidian pieces. Let's see what we got. All right, so we're going to rotate them. So where the outer face, we're going to actually going to have to rotate it to where the outer face faces inward. So we're going to place that like that. Another piece here. We're going to skip these two. Place one here. We're going to skip this stuff. And we're going to also place more of the wall pieces here. Another one there. This looks like a door. Same thing with the door. We're going to rotate it where the outer face is facing inward. Place that. We're going to leave that for a gap. Place some more walls here. Let's see. That's going to be more walls. And more walls. All right, perfect. So now, jump over to storm glass, wherever that's at, there it is. We're going to use these uh, storm glass, the window frames. We're going to place these uh, right here, but we're going we're gonna to rotate them also to where the outer face is facing inwards. We're just going to go just around like that. And then where we have some of these gaps, we're going to actually be placing uh, some of these windows. But we're going to be doing some more advanced building techniques. So first off, we're going to merge some stuff by placing... If I can find it, there we go, stable. We're going to do a stable fence gate frame with pillars. So we're going to place those in these two spots. Just going to double check to make sure that's right, which it looks like it is. Uh, from here, we're going to switch back to Namidian. We're going to place Namidian fence pieces right over the pieces that we just placed. And then from here, we now can change out the stable pieces with the actual window pieces. So these are actually working out pretty good for us because they're snapping the way we want it to where the outer face is facing inwards. But uh, f for whatever reason, if there's... Let me see if we got... Okay, yeah, they're all working the way that I need it to work. But for example, if, you, uh, if it's not snapping the way you need it to snap, uh, you can always place a door frame down. And then from there, you can take the glass and then it allows you to rotate You know which way you need it to rotate. But like I said, fortunately for us... They're snapping the way that we need them to snap. So let's go ahead and replace those. All right, from here, let's switch back over to Namidian. We're going to do a balcony on the, on this back corner. So we're just going to start here where, where this tower starts. I'm just going to rotate it so like the wooden planks are all kind of facing the same direction. And then we're going to switch to the square pieces. Let's go around like that. And then uh, at this point, to make it more feel like, like a deck or supported deck or something like that, uh, I want to have some supports on these corners. So we're actually going to do the pillar trick again. So we're just going to attach a, a stair piece there. We're going to attach a stable pillar right to uh, the top middle piece of the, uh, the stairs. We're then going to place a ceiling piece on top of that, another stair, and connect some pillars to the new stairs that we placed. I'm just going to kind of extend that down this way. Delete the stuff that we don't need. And this gives us a, uh, a supported look to our build. I'm just going to do that. the same thing on this side. It doesn't matter what, you know, what stair or pillar pieces you really use when it comes to actually just doing this. But uh, the, 
the end result is is basically what pillar you you use for the look. And actually, I accidentally deleted the pillar have, that I had here that I need to build down this way. So we're just going to place that back. And we're going to build over, straight down, and there we go. We now have supports on uh, on that end. All right. So now from here, we're going to add on this quick addition. Now this is actually going to be pretty simple. So we're going to start off, we're going to place a, uh, a ceiling piece here. And this is kind of technically the pillar trick again, because we're going to connect a stair piece to the, uh, the ceiling that we just placed. And then we're going to connect a, uh, a pillar piece under where the stair piece is. Just delete that, we're going to delete this piece. And then from here, we're going to connect a ceiling to the pillar that we just placed. And this basically offsets it by a half of a foundation, just that technique that we just did. Uh, and then from here, connect a fence foundation, or the stable fence foundation here, and we're going to form just a two-by-one little rectangle. We're just going to delete the stuff on the inside. Add our ceilings again. We're going to go around this side with uh, more arena walls. Here, we're going to place some Numidian walls. Make sure when you rotate them, the uh, outer face is facing inward. And then... Let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna add, no we're not. We're just gonna rotate that. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so now, moving on to the tower. I'm gonna take the arena wedge pieces. We're just gonna fill this in. And then we're gonna build up. We're gonna place more arena walls in these two spots. And for these three, we're going to use arena window frames. I think what we're going to do, we're going to add the support strut right there. Perfect. All right, and actually, let's jump into the inside real quick. And you guys can customize the inside, you know, whatever best suits you. So I'm just going to kind of throw one together just real fast, just for this tutorial. Let's see, Namidian stairs the rail. We're just going to do that right as you, as soon as you walk in. Let's see, we're, we're actually going to make a room in here. That'll work. We're going to use the Namidian building palette again for the floor. Yeah, something like that. Doesn't need to be, you know, super special or anything. Right, jumping over to this tower, we're going to place more Namidian walls, once again, rotating them to where the outer face is facing inwards. And we're going to be using a uh, an advanced technique as well, because we're going to be connecting a square on top of this hex um, pattern here very shortly. Right, so here we're going to place some more Namidian wedges. All right, now that technique that I was uh, that I was just talking about, we're gonna do this by first placing support struts. We're then going to connect some uh, Namidian, the, the square ceilings to the top of that. And this gives us our square pattern over our, our hex shape. But before we build on top of this, we're actually going to, we're gonna use that, that merging method again. So we're actually gonna place The stable fence gate frame pillars. We're gonna place those all the way around. Right. We're then going to place the Namidian fence. All right. Perfect. And then we're gonna change out. All right. Yeah. See, guys, how they're. They're not wanting to snap the way, because I, I want the outer face to face inwards, and it's not letting me rotate them at the moment. So yeah, so what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to take um, door frames, Oop. and we're gonna have to go all the way around. We're gonna have to change out these these stable pieces with the, uh, with the door frames. And this will allow us to actually place our window pieces and rotate them the, uh, the way that we, we need them to. So now that those are all placed, we're gonna go back through. 
and uh, place our windows. And now see how I can place them where the outer face is facing inwards. I'm just going to go all the way around. All right, perfect. All right, so from here, I'm going to do the pillar trick again. Place the stairs where it's kind of facing towards, you know, the inside of the, uh, the build. Place a pillar on top of the stairs. Place a ceiling. Connect a stair to the ceiling. And then we're going to connect two pillars to the, uh, the secondary stairs that we placed. We're then going to place a ceiling on, uh, on top of the first one. So it's going to be in the middle of the two pillars. And we're going to delete the top one. Once that's done, uh, let's see. Let's jump over to the Numidian pieces. We're going to take the Numidian rooftop corners. And we're just going to go around this bottom portion just like this. And then we're going to cap it off with the, uh, the rooftop cap. So now we, we're we going to have a little space right here. So we're going to go over to the stable oops, stable build set. We're going to use the stable wall. And we're just going to place those all the way around like this. And then the last thing to do, uh, and this is just, uh, this isn't mandatory. This is just something that I think makes the build just look a little bit better. If you have it, uh, you know, it'll work. If you don't, you know, no worries. But we're going to use the stone brick, the arcane stone brick wall rim. And then we're just going to go around this tower just like that from right here. And with that, that'll complete uh, the tower. And from here, I think we're ready to move on to our roof. Before we lay our roof, though, uh, you know, a trick that I that I use, because I know roofs can be difficult at some points. Um, before I place my roof, I'll actually place my, my slanted walls first, because this will give me kind of an idea of how the roof will slope when it comes to us actually placing it. So we're going to place uh, some slanted walls here, and we're going to rotate them to where the outer face, once again, is facing inwards. We'll jump to the back of the build. We're going to do the same thing back here. All right. Let's see, we jump to this side. Place another wall. We'll place a slanted wall back here. And then from here, we're going to use this Namidian wall cap. And the outer face is going to be facing out, uh, outward just because, you know, the wolf head, the way it's facing. So we're going to keep it like that. I'm going to jump to this side. I'm going to keep kind of the same pattern going. Place the wall cap again. And from here, place those there. All right, perfect. Now up front, right above the doorway, we're actually going to do another window piece. So we're going to merge some pieces together. We're going to start off by placing our stable fence uh, gate uh, frame with pillars. I'm then going to take the Namidian uh, fence piece and hopefully, nope, snapping the wrong way, so we're going to have to go storm glass door first and storm glass window. We're going to rotate it to where the outer face is facing inwards. And then on top of here, we're going to place the Namidian wall cap. And then now jumping to the back of the build, place a Namidian slanted wall here. Now we're actually going to do an inverted wall here, just like that. And then we're going to place another wall cap. I think that... Nope. I lied. we got to do one more right here. Right above this area. So I think that'll do it. Or, oh, nope, I lied. We gotta do the inverted ones here. Alright, that should do it. So at this point we can now place our roof and everything should should link up perfectly if I if I did it right. So we'll just start off, we'll place the Namidian uh, wedge slope roof pieces. We'll connect those to the tops of the, uh, the storm glass windows down here. And this little section, we'll use the median slope roof pieces. There's some more roof pieces here. Another one 
there. So another one on this side. I think we get, yep, one right there. And then at this point, we're going to use Numidian inverted sloped roof corner pieces to where they all kind of match up and see how, you know, since we, we placed our wall, we kind of have an idea of how they need to slant. So you can just kind of rotate until it just kind of clicks into, uh, you know, where it all fits into place. So we're just going to kind of go around. We're going to mess with some of these uh, ceiling pieces. Everything should link up pretty good. Yeah, it looks like it does. Perfect. So then the, uh, the top of this, we're going to use Numidian rooftops, just the single pieces. I'm just going to go across. And we have the intersection piece. We're going to connect all of those. All right, I'm going to jump inside real quick. So we've got to add some, uh, some railings. Jump back over to the stable. We're gonna add the, uh, the stable get, uh, gate pieces. We're gonna add stable fences into there. Take the wooden support struts. Gonna connect them to the top of those. Actually, we're gonna just take some more uh, fence pieces and just put them like that. And I think that that'll do it for the inside. Let's jump back to the porch. Let's add the lattice uh, half walls. So let's kind of add those all the way around right there and then we're gonna add a Namidian awning piece on the back end of it we're just gonna rotate it so it you know kind of slopes with the roof just like that I think the last thing we need to do is add our doors so let's add an arena door to the front add an arena door to the back jump over. We're going to add a Namidian one up top. I think, yeah, it'll open this way, because when you, yeah, because when you walk out onto it, yeah, it'll open that way. Alright, just doing one more quick glance, but I think everything has been placed. Yep, that looks good. So, yeah, with that, uh, with all that stuff placed, that'll complete the build.